Hello friends, this is Abhinav Bhargav and in this video we are going to see about Biosphere Reserves. So first the basic question, what is a Biosphere Reserve? So these are the large areas of biodiversity where flora and fauna are protected. And the Biosphere Network was actually launched in the year 1976. And here we should also know about the three main functions of Biosphere Reserve. First one is conservation, that is to conserve genetic resources, species, ecosystems, landscapes. Second, development functions, that is to promote sustainable development. And the third one is logistic support, that is to provide support for research and analyzing the issues of conservation and sustainable development. And here we should also know about the world network of biosphere reserves. That is, it covers globally chosen protected areas and it consists of a network of sites of distinction and it promotes sustainable development through different ways. And if any country declares one area as a biosphere reserve, it can nominate the same two under UNESCO's Man and Biosphere program. And if UNESCO accepts the proposal of the government, then the biosphere reserve will enter into the world network of biosphere reserves. In India, we have total 18 biosphere reserves and 10 of those 18 biosphere reserves are part of world network of biosphere reserve which is based on UNESCO's Man and Biosphere program. And let us see each biosphere one by one. So the first one is Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve which is on the borders of Kerala, Tamil Nadu and Karnataka. And here the key fauna include Nilgiri Thar and Lantail Makar. In Uttarakhand, we have Nanda Devi Biosphere Reserve and here the key fauna includes Snow Leopard and Himalayan Black Bear. In Meghalaya, we have Nokrek Biosphere Reserve and here the key fauna include Red Panda. Next in Andaman Nicobar, we have Great Nicobar Biosphere Reserve and here the key fauna include Saltwater Crocodile. In Tamil Nadu, we have Gulf of Manav Biosphere Reserve and here the key fauna include Dugong which is also called as Sea Cow. In Assam, we have Manas and here the key fauna include Golden Langur and Red Panda. In West Bengal, we have Sundarbans and here the key fauna include Royal Bengal Tiger. In Odisha, we have Simlipal Biosphere Reserve and here the key fauna include Goar, Wild Elephants and Royal Bengal Tiger. In Assam, we have Dibru Saikhova where the key fauna include Golden Langur. In Arunachal Pradesh, we have Dihang and Dibang and here the key fauna include Mishmitakin and Musk Deer. In Madhya Pradesh, we have Pachmari Biosphere Reserve and here the key fauna include Giant Squirrel and Flying Squirrel. In Sikkim, we have Kanchen Zonga where the key fauna include Snow Leopard and Red Panda. In Kerala, we have Agastya Malay Biosphere Reserve, which is recently been included into UNESCO's Man and Biosphere program. And here the key fauna include Nilgiri Tar and Elephants. On the borders of Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh, we have Achanakamar Amarkantak Biosphere Reserve, where the key fauna include Four Horned Antelope, Indian Wild Dog, Saras Green and White Rump Vulture. In Gujarat, we have Great Run of Kutch, where the key fauna include Asiatic Lion, Black Buck and Indian Wild Ass. In Himachal Pradesh, we have Cold Desert, where the key fauna include Snow Leopard. In AP, we have Seshachalam Hills, where the key fauna include Slender Loris. And the last one is Panna Biosphere Reserve in Madhya Pradesh. Here the key fauna include Tiger, Cheetal, Chinkara and Sloth Bear. So these are the Biosphere Reserves which we have seen just now. And the one which are in this color, that is in orange color, are part of UNESCO's Man and Biosphere program. So that's all about the Biosphere Reserves. Do like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.